So first off, you guys, this is day four of sewing. I have my Robin Hood outfit finished. <laughs> if you didn't see that, that was yesterday. Today, I'm wearing my workout clothes because I just got off the treadmill. But I told you I'd be here at 10 and I wasn't going to miss it. So I ran over here. So guess what I have to do today? Yes, thank you guys. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so great. There's nothing better than waking up to all of your messages, by the way. Especially when it's your birthday. So thank you. This today is officially the birthday, even though we've been celebrating all week. <laughs> oh, goodness, you guys are so funny. It's getting cold now. Yes, it is. Happy. Thank you, Jude. Thanks, guys. All the way from Australia. Great to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Okay, Rhonda, uh, you were hilarious. So I was writing my newsletter last night. Oh, I don't know, like 8 o'clock, just like I told you guys. And then all of a sudden, I did something really stupid, and I was playing around on my website, and it completely went down for four hours. So there was no sense in sending the newsletter out with a link to the website for the videos when the website went down. But it's up. It was totally my fault. So uh, anyways, I got up this morning. I thought, oh, forget the newsletter. I'll see you at 10. I worked out. I ran some errands. Uh, went to mass. It's my birthday. Got to go there. And um, now I'm here. I'm going to sew. But guess what I have to do today? I have to go get, I forgot I got to get my driver's license renewed. It expired. And it said that I had a good driving record. So I don't have to go down there if I would have mailed it in like three weeks ago. And I totally forgot. So now I have to go wait in that nice long line. I thought you guys might enjoy going there with me. But then I decided maybe not. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be working on today. and want to see if you guys have any questions on what you're doing. So I had to pop in and say hi. Hey, we have someone from Korea. Hey, thanks for joining. Oh, see what happens when I come in early. We get every country in here from Texas. Awesome. Hey, Joyce. So Janice, are you on here? Because I have to tell you, Janice placed an order yesterday and my husband was laughing out loud while he was packing it this morning. So um, I took a photo of what I wrote on your box. So Janice, you have to let me know if I'm allowed to share. I'm sure I can, but I think it was hilarious because we all talk about fab recording. So Janice writes, <laughs> am I allowed to say it, Janice? Let me know. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'll wait a minute just to make sure she says it's okay, but I'm sure it is. Uh, and then I'll show you her box if the mailman didn't pick it up. So you guys want to see something really cool? I'm going to show you what's coming. Uh, this is awesome. Let me bring my screen up here. I was so excited to see this. I've been saving this. I gave you guys a hint. Thread cutters, right? So check this out. Can you see this? Yes, of course, it's a drawing. It looks like a spider on there, but it is my new thread cutters with my logo on it. How cool is that? Let's see, I think I can... Um... There's thread cutters if you've never been there. And let me see if I can go back on here. Look at this. So it's my logo, which is... I'm so excited. What a great birthday present for this. If I can make this screen just a little bit bigger. Nope. It's Instagram. So that is the news of the day, which I'm very excited about. I will be taking pre-orders for those soon, probably next week. He's coming on the show. This is my blinged up one, but I love it with the logo. Black and gold, it's so rich. That goes back to my original, everything I had was black and gold. I moved it to black and platinum, and now I use both. But the black and gold looks awesome on there. So if you're on Instagram, you'll have to go, you can see that photo. Okay, so I can see you guys rolling in. Uh, Patricia says it's cold in Jersey Shore. Yeah, it's cold here too. Do you see what I'm wearing? I was actually on the treadmill on this. It's not exactly my color. It washes me out, but I got my Texas necklace on and uh, my hair is, I haven't gotten into the shower yet because I worked out and I'm going to go, trust me, I'm not going to get my driver's license picture like this. <laughs> oh, I know. Isn't that cool? Oh, the ones that fit on the one side of the machine. Those are great. I have a couple here. I think I already put them on the side of my serger. Um, my Simplicity serger, there's not a cutter. And that was my biggest complaint is because I'm so used to serging off and cutting. And so I use the line cutters on the side. And they do have the ones that stick on the side. What else did he send me? Send me one of these, which I love. You can hang it from your top. 
little scissors. Perfect. So what are you guys sewing today? I'm just curious. Rhonda, by the way, uh, again, back to you. You came up in my newsletter yesterday before my website crashed. My fault, of course. Uh, and it's because what did you say? You thought I looked like a warrior. And Susan said I looked like a Robin Hood. I laughed right out loud again. LOL, did I say that three times today? It's my birthday, I can say that. But I've been cleaning and organizing stuff in boxes and I have to show you what I found. If you've ever gone to a sewing expo, you see all these little demos, some are, you know, you're like, what is that? Or how could I adapt that to my sewing? So check this out. Oh yeah, and thanks, Wynn brought me roses. So I have a whole video security system here. So if anything moves around the building or in the building, I get a notification. It gets a little troublesome when I have a lot of squirrels, but and I feed them, so <laughs> you know they're kind of a pain. So I walk up to the building and I'm like, oh my gosh, when there's footprints that go all the way around the side of the building, that didn't show up on my video cam. And he's like, oh, forget it. What he did is he walked around the building and tried to come in a sneaky way where he wouldn't show up on video. Well, I had, I had my thing on silent. He showed up on video, but I didn't notice it. So he was trying to hide the roses in here. I guess I must be difficult. <laughs> All right, so check this out. This is what I found. I'm gonna pull this up so you can see it. Maybe you can read it. Let's see what it says. This, I bought this a couple years ago and I've never used it. So there it is. Um, it's from Lavetta. If you've ever seen Lavetta, blonde hair, super cute girl. This is actually, this must be her emoji, but it kind of looks like her. Super friendly. So what this came with was one spray bottle, lace pocket appliques, which, you know, I love lace. In fact, uh, I put it on everything, but these were so cool. Do you, so let me give you a hint. What are these in the shape of? Okay, be nice, guys. <laughs> this, this could really go outside the box. But guess what is this in the shape of? I'll give you a hint. Yeah, jeans. So, and one sheet of suggestions. So what she has in here, and I bought this, like, I don't know, at the Novi Sewing Expo probably 10 years ago. So she has this whole thing of directions. Very good, Esther. You got it. Pockets. <laughs> That's definitely it. So she gives this whole thing, and it says fill spray bottle with 100% bleach containing 6% hyperchlorite. Do not dilute. What that means is pick the bleach that does not say color safe, right? Press lace applique and snip away any strands. Well, there's no strands on here, but I have my thread cutters just in case I had to, but this is gorgeous, by the way. Okay, fine, fine. Hold spray bottle approximately six to eight inches away. Spray applique lightly. Less is more. We all know that, except some of us get carried away. You've seen some of my dyed projects. Remove lace applique quickly so the bleach does not soak through. You may have to wait for bleach design to appear on your denim. Let design dry, wash, dry and dryer, and wear. Embellish with hot fix crystals, decorative machine stitches, or embroidery if desired, which you know the embroidery's going on there. Try sprayed bleach detail using quilt stencils, shapes from freezer paper, masking tape, or cookie. You do not have to remove your back pockets to achieve this bleach detail. All right, so hold on a second. I have a pair of jeans, besides the one I'm wearing. So today I'm going to sew jeans of my own if I get back from the DMV in one piece, right? So these jeans I had bought to uh, use for, I don't know, some upcycle project. So let's just give you a visual here. Here's your pocket. I think I'll set this just down here so you can see it. Move my cup. By the way... <laughs> This cup is so huge. I absolutely love it. <laughs> but the only problem is when I fill it with coffee, it looks like there's nothing in there. And that's a whole entire cup. I just poured that coffee. But I love this cup. 
Okay, so are you ready for this uh, visual here? This, you take the lace and you place it on the pocket like this. And then you'll go spray, 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 which I'm not going to put bleach on here right now because I'm wearing really good clothes. And you let it sit. And then you pull this off and you end up with something like this. How cool is that? I mean, what, we've talked about this before. So she adds a few different um, rules to consider. Let design dry, wash, and wear. Okay, great. Rinse bleach. Rules to remember. Rinse bleach from lace applique for use over and over again. If not, rinse bleach will damage the delicate lace. That's a no-brainer. Do not use old bleach. Once it is open, it loses its punch. Now, that I did not know except for the fact I had a whole bottle of bleach because I sprayed that pink jacket that's somewhere. Hold on a second. I have it all over here. Let me bring my rack of clothes over, guys. And hopefully I don't tip anything over in the way like a dress form. All right. This one, where are you? Remember this? This was all with bleach. And I sprayed it with bleach. I actually put bleach and sugar in a bowl. <laughs> sugar, yes, sugar. Because the bleach was too... Oh, gosh, I was not going to just say the word too wet, but it was too wet. <laughs> I needed something like a paste. So I had a bag of sugar. So I took a bag of sugar. I figured there's no chemicals in that. Threw the bleach in there, used a paintbrush, and it made a great paste. And that's how I hand dyed all of this. But that's also how I learned that bleach can get old and really cause havoc. That's the big word for today. Havoc with an English accent. The, what happened was the container burned a hole in the bottom and I ended up with bleach everywhere. So that was after like a year. Okay, so no brainer. Do not use old bleach. Once it's open, it loses its punch. Do not use bouquet fragrance or color safe bleach. Color safe bleach is thus what it says. Color safe. It is not going to take the color out of your pants, right? After using spray bottle, pour bleach back into the original container and rinse with water. This will pro prolong the use of the spray stem. Obviously, she had the same problem that I had with it burning a hole in the bottom. And please use supervision with children. While great care was taken with these suggestions, the junk, je junk jeans people in no way are responsible for bleach boo-boos. I love that. That is her complete disclaimer. So junk jeans people... You can see it right on there. How cute is that? That is her legal. Julie, does that count for a legal phrase? While great care was taken with these suggestions, junk jeans people are in no way responsible for bleach boo-boos. Can you even imagine if you got an email of someone saying, I've ruined my jeans. I want you to replace those. Somehow, though, I think that that probably has happened or could happen nowadays. So what do you think of that? Isn't that funny? Oh, thanks. You love this collar, Teresa. Okay, so this is my ruche tee. I pattern hacked it a little bit. I think I have a full blog post on this, but uh, this is my fishing top, but I wore it for, oh, the treadmill today, and it's freezing outside. So it looks like there are seams everywhere, but there are not. They're fake. I laid the fabric down and chalked out designs. I just talked chalked all this out, I could show you on a piece of paper, and did the double cover stitch all over it. Isn't it cool? Yeah, so you would think there was princess seams, but they're not, they're fake. I love that. <laughs> Rhonda says she might need to add a disclaimer like that to her website. <laughs> I know, I love that. Not responsible for embroidery havoc, right? Whew. Okay, so for those of you that just popped in, Welcome to my official birthday sewing marathon. And in case you missed the message, which you did because I didn't send the newsletter out last night, I am continuing this sewing marathon all the way through Christmas for a couple of reasons. I have a couple gifts coming out. 
Uh, a couple sponsors have thrown in some wonderful things for you guys all the way to Christmas. I have my new thread cutter rings coming, which is I just showed. I'll bring that back up here just for a second because it's so cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, and I have a couple other new products coming out. Some of them won't be available till January, but I'll give you a little teaser. So I have a lot for you planned for in 2019. I do not have my full teaching schedule up yet because I'm still trying to squeeze some time in to have classes here in the studio. So I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, love your top. I'm going to have to try it. Yeah, so this is what I did for the top. All right, let me see if I can find a Sharpie here. Uh, I think I've written on all of this paper. All right, you ready? I'll show you what I did to the top. Can you see that okay, guys? Give me a, make a comment or say, yeah, you can see it. Fabulous, something wonderful like that, and I'll know that you can see it. <laughs> Jenny says she wants one. Hey, Jenny, by the way, as I'm waiting for you guys to comment so you can see it, do you notice what I'm wearing today? Yeah, I actually forgot all my wedding rings. I got off the treadmill, ran out the door to come and see you guys. And it's only a half mile from my house, so it's not like I really went all out. But I am. Uh, at least I'm dressed. Okay, we got that going for me. <laughs> but I love the necklace. Thank you, hun. All right, guys. So, yep, everyone says wonderful. Yes, you can see. Thank you, thank you. Can see it. Yes, you can see. I love the delay, don't you guys? Okay, so... If this is my rouge tea top, after I cut it out, wow, I always say sketching wasn't my forte, but <laughs> this is a very um, uneven person, but you get the idea. So this is the front, and I'll do a sleeve for you too in there. And there's the sleeve. And this is all with my rouge tea. I don't even think, okay, so one thing I did is I added much longer hem on the inside. And what I did is I just drew, let's see, did I cross them over? Or did I just go, nope, I just went like this. That's really hard. And then for this one, I drew like this with chalk. I folded the fabric over so the chalk would be in the same place on this side. And that is your marks. So then what I did is I went back and I think when I had this, I might not have had the double cover hem. I can't, I can't remember, but this is what the double cover hem looks like. I cover, I just ran this through the cover stitch. It didn't stretch the fabric out at all. You have to test it a little bit, of course. And I'm gonna put this on this finger here. And then when I went through this side, I just ran through the cover stitch. I started at the top and went down, started at the top and went down. So they all went the same directions. Then, of course, I pressed up the hem. I added, this looks like about a one, two, three inch hem, which is longer than my rouge T, just to give it a little more stability. What I was going to do is I might put a buttonhole in here eventually to make a thumb, because this is my fishing top. And... I think that's it on the hem for the bottom. Yep, that's about it. And then for the collar, where you have the whole collar here, I just ran cover stitch, just like that. And then I sewed the twisted collar from the rouge tee. So here's the twisted collar. There you go. Sorry, guys. Are you on there? <laughs> okay. Ugh. I could feel like, ugh, I definitely have to go get in the shower. But you got the idea on that? So that is what happened. So this is the complete ruche tee, and I just did all of that different stitching and sewed the twisted collar and the ruche tee, and that's what it came out like. Isn't it fun? Can you use a regular cover stitch on this top? Yes, Marianne, totally. So what you would do is, with the regular cover stitch, you would stitch from the wrong side of the fabric, so your three needles are on the top. And then the if you stitch from the wrong side of the fabric, all those markings I just showed you do on the wrong side of the fabric. And that way you can bring it over and it'll look like this on the top. So you can use just a regular cover stitch if you don't have the double cover hem. I used to do that all the time. And if you don't have a cover hem machine, uh, you really can't use a twin needle because the back of the twin needle doesn't look like this. 
but you could use a decorative stitch as long as it was stretchy. That's the issue. The cover stitch stretches. So when I put this top on, which is a stretch, it's a stretch. This is a Polar Tech fleece. I bought this from leftovers from North Face, believe it or not, which that's, that's always a good buy. All right. You did the armholes too. Uh, yes. So once I sewed and I did the shoulders, so I sewed the shoulder, sewed the shoulder seam with the serger, three thread overlock, sewed it just like if you're in the knits class, serge the seam just like you would normally do. And then I ran it through the double cover hem. So first I sewed it and then I ran it through the double cover hem. I didn't do flat felled seams on this. I just needed a little bit more support. And I don't have a marrow machine, which is a real strong machine like that. And the flat felled, I just felt like wasn't, I didn't like the look. This fabric's pretty thick too. Does that make sense? Uh, would this be a good, yes, Rosemary, this would be a super good top to begin with. And Rosemary, you are awesome at embroidery. You've seen my knit tops that I've added embroidery to. Hold on. I got one right here as I'm cleaning. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I think for days like this, I need a little button where I can turn the music on for a second while I'm running to get something else for you. But okay, so this top is still the ruched tee. And this is where I added embroidery. Remember last year for Christmas, this was one of my sew alongs that I did. Well, not sew alongs, but I did this during birthday week last year. And this is embroidery down the sleeve. I did embroidery on the collar. This is the tall collar for the ruched tee. It's really simple to make. And you guys don't forget that right now, up until Sunday, I might extend the sale since I didn't send a newsletter out yet because I'm so bad at that. But for those of you that hang out with me on Facebook, you never worry. You get all the information first anyway. So, all right, let's see. Is that it? Yeah. So that is the code. If you want any of these patterns, they're digital or print. And that's also the code for 20% off the sewing with knits class. If you've never sewn with knits, if you go to academy.angelawolf.com, that will take you to my online class. Speaking of classes, wait until you see what I have planned for you in 2019. I can hardly wait. Behind the scenes, I've been working my little tush off, but it's fun. As you know, I love it. Yeah, for real, most of the time, unless your website crashes at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> oh, thanks, Melissa. Rosemary, yes, that embroidery, isn't that cool? I mean, it's just so fun. A uh, question on knits class, Trudy says, is that a one-time access or can you tag or can you log multi? Oh gosh, you can watch it forever. I even uh, changed it where you can download it to your computer. I had so many people that said they were traveling and they, I mean, I'm, I'm really not worried about you downloading the videos and selling them because I have a sister who's an attorney that would come after you. <laughs> so what I did is I made it where you can you can watch it forever. I mean, lifetime is a long word because I might not live as long as you. But for the lifetime of that website, which will be a, for as long as I live, <laughs> uh, you can have access to it. And you can watch it over and over. And you can download it to your computer or tablet so you can watch it when you're on the run. And then... What I always hate is I always download my stuff of Kindle or audiobooks. I love audiobooks. And when I do that, I download it before I leave so I don't use all my data. So you can download it and have fun with it. There's places to ask questions. Uh, there's PDF files. I think there's 24. You guys will have to help me out, but I think there's 24 videos. Let's see. I think I have it on here. There we go. I'll bring that up. It is here, academy.angelawolf.com. And this was like a big class. I'm, I'm going to try to keep the others smaller, but there's 26 videos. I can't even tell you how many hours, a lot. You can scroll through these. It doesn't show you any of the videos, but so here's the thing. With this online class, it's a little bit different than you're probably used to with Craftsy and things like that because I have it split up into, if you just have a sewing machine, you can sew, learn how to sew knits with a sewing machine. If you just have a serger, then you learn how to sew with a serger. If you want to learn both, you can learn both. 
I also give you some other tips that you can go back, like stabilizing the shoulder, doing the twisted neckline, things like that. So it's a lot to sit down and learn right away, but you can go back anytime and you can skip ahead. So I have it itemized. So if you're like, oh, I already know how to sew in my sleeves. I just want to learn how to do a hem with a cover stitch. You can skip ahead to that if that helps. Oh, Rosemary, you're in the middle of the class right now. Do you like it? Well, if you say no, keep it to yourself. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I always love constructive criticism, maybe just not in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> Rosemary, I hope um, you're going to be available in December because she's going to be coming on and giving us some embroidery tips, by the way. She does beautiful work. So I haven't reached out to you for a date yet because I'm putting together the schedule. So hopefully you're available. You were pretty busy last year because this is your busy season, isn't it? So just out of curiosity, oh, good. I know we have Rhonda in here, we have um, Reen in here, so many people that utilize embroidery as a business. So just out of curiosity, if you have an embroidery business, I just leave a mention, um, put mention your name or your website on here. I'm just curious because it's a great business and it's so it's a creative outlook. And I would also love your opinion on if you sell on Etsy or do you sell on your own website? That could be a good discussion for someday. Reen, I know, is having, I just sent her a couple of items for her giveaway for December. And mark your calendar for two dates. I'm writing it down myself. Next Wednesday, in case you missed yesterday's show, Joe is coming on with the dress forms. He has a super cool, something super cool for you that I don't even know about. He just said, I've got a surprise. And don't forget. I'm like, I'm not going to forget. He's coming on. We love Joe from Dancing with Stars, all those costumes. I love that. And his dress forms. December 19th, guess what? Is If the weather permits, I'm going to have a couple special guests. Hmm. I can't tell you who until they show up. But one, two, three. there's three of you coming. I had to count. <laughs> I could give you a hint. Reen, Carrie, and Molly. Unless I'm missing somebody. Rhonda, you're too far away. You should just fly up from Florida. But the girls, they just live a few hours from me, and we have a really fun Christmas special planned for you on December 19th, live from the studio. So that's December 19th. You won't want to miss that, right? I know, Barb. We all love Joe. Okay, so Rhonda has a website, and she sells her designs and screen printing shop. I love screen printing. Uh, does he sell the dress forms to Canada? Don, that's a good question. Hold on, my mouse is not behaving. Hey, Joe, if you're on here, do you sell your dress forms to Canada? I don't know why he wouldn't. Shipping would be ridiculous, though. Well, not always. Although, Janice, my goodness gracious, I have to find a new way to ship to my friends in Texas. Wynn went to ship your package this morning, and he said, this can't be right. For parcel post, it was like a ridiculous amount. And I went through to try to see if I could find anything cheaper, nothing cheaper. So I'm going to have to find something good for my friends in Texas. California, certain areas of California seem to be a little expensive too. I guess it just depends where you live, but ridiculous. But I will ask Joe. Hey, Don, that'll be a great question for Joe next week. I love that. Let's see what else do we have on here. Gail has an embroidery business, Bighorn Mountain Creations on Facebook. Awesome. So you're busy right now. This is your busiest time, you guys, probably getting stuff ready for the holidays. Just starting out with an embroidery business, Joanne is. Oh, nice. You have the seven needle machine. Perfect. There's Rosemary's website. I'm just scrolling through these. Oh, thanks, Trudy. She says she can't wait for the classes. Love some embroidery help. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because embroidery is such a fun thing. But honest to goodness, I, I and I'll ask all my embroidery friends. Excuse me. I didn't eat breakfast. Can you hear my stomach growling? <laughs> um, yes, Wynn is going to take, he offered to take me out to breakfast. I just wasn't quite ready. I had to come and see you first. So uh, on the embroidery, I would say, I don't know what's more important, choosing the best design or choosing a quality design for the right fabric or the stabilizer. 
I think both are about tied, but I think with the right stabilizer, you can embroider just about anything. So stabilizer would be the most important. That I can tell you, I do have a surprise coming for you in 2019 on that one. That's all I can share with you. But I, wouldn't you guys agree? I definitely think so. Oh, you're going to be on a cruise? Goodness gracious, Rosemary. I wouldn't be complaining about that one. <laughs> Good morning, Mary Lou. Oh, you guys are wonderful. So first off, you guys, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. You made my day. I will go through and try to comment on all of them. But I woke up and I was like, whoa, you guys are awesome. Of course, I reminded you of my birthday every day. I'm really not that much of a princess. <laughs> it was just I wanted to sew for the whole week. So I just named it Birthday Sewing Marathon. Have you, by the way, have you entered the Daylight Giveaway? Because it's on my Facebook page. It's also on my Instagram page. And there's a link if you want to, you can enter one or all of them. I, I put the link in the group yesterday too. All right, hold on. I have one more thing to share with you guys. I've been, Jeff sent me some new scissors to try out. Let me find some fabric. Hold on. Somebody play the music for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. So, these scissors, I did a video with Jeff from Kai Scissors, if you remember correctly, uh, during Houston Quilt Fest. Although that video was really long, so I'm going to cut it up into pieces, show off the new Daylight products, show off the new Kai Scissors and in little crops, and some of the new Brother products in little pieces and put it on YouTube so that way you don't have to watch the whole video. But we were talking about serrated edges of scissors. What's the difference? You guys know I use those monster scissors. They're back there cut, ready to cut my jeans out for the day. But this pair I just received. And if you didn't realize, in Puyallup, I will be in Puyallup this year for the first time ever, sponsored by Kai Scissors. I will be in Kai Scissors booth the whole weekend. And I have a fashion show Friday night. I am the featured um, event for the night. So you can't miss that. They said there's like 800 people that come to that. No pressure, right? So anyways, these are the scissors that Kai sent. And these are model 7230, stainless steel tailored shears for professional use. They're serrated though. And if you saw what Jeff was talking about, the serrated edge, it, I'm not gonna, rub, no worries guys. I'm not gonna rub my finger on here. These are so sharp. Keep them away from my hair. Although I look like I need a haircut today before I get in the shower. These are really sharp. Well, I didn't really change over to these scissors right away. I had a pair from a year ago, and I was like, you know, these are really nice. What happens is when it, when you're cutting on shears or knit fabric, of course, I picked black. <laughs> That's like impossible to see. But I will, uh, let me move my stuff out of the way, and I'll show you something. Because because if you use silk chiffons and shears and things like that, I'll tell you what, these scissors are the bomb. So what it does is it actually grabs the fabric. Here, hold on. I mean, it just cuts through it so nice. Now, you probably can't tell it all from this little demo, but different than the others. I don't know how to explain it, but if you work with shears, silk chiffon, anything like that, these scissors are awesome. So I've added all these into my Amazon page. I have a few more to add in there, but in case a whole bunch of you yesterday asked me, what is my Amazon page? So again, here's the discount code. Let me look up the Amazon page and give you the link real quick. I think I should have gone shopping on my page. I, I have a new camera coming tomorrow, a new video camera. This is when I stock up on all my computer stuff. And then last night, my laptop started to puke on me. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Every two years, I swear, I might as well just put on the calendar. Thanksgiving, buy a new one. I think it's because I use it so much. I use it a lot for video and a lot for editing photos. And you need a lot of space for those. And I work it really a lot. <laughs> Okay, here it is. It's coming up. Maybe. Okay. 
I'll bring this up right here. There you go. That is the link. Can you see that? It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Angela underscore Wolf. It couldn't be any more complicated, but that's what it is. Yeah. Do you make sure you get an external hard drive? That's a great question. Yes, I have about, I have two hooked up to every computer. Thankfully they have like, I bought four gigabytes for two of the computers and 10 gigabytes for the other. So for those of you that do a lot of video work or photos and your computer's not working, that is definitely one of the problems. The other, one more tip for you, if you're buying any computers over the holidays, make sure you get one with a solid state drive and a hard drive. Solid state drive is what, when you turn your computer on, it opens instantly. I never knew that when I first started buying computers. And someone said, you need a solid state drive and then it'll open and everything opens up immediately. Oh, what a change that made. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hey, Sherry, catching us live. You have a quilt customer coming shortly, so probably won't be able to stay. Well, thanks for popping in, by the way. That's awesome that you were here. There's a quilt store down the street from me that I've never been to. Maybe I should put that on my bucket list today when I come back from the driver's license place. And a lot of RAM. Oh, yes, we're talking about computers right now, for those of you that missed that. Uh, no, I don't have a Mac. I use Windows. I all my software is for Windows. I'm not even, I know that I should go with Mac for all my video and stuff, but right now, um, it's all not. <laughs> I shouldn't say Windows. I have like a Asus and an Acer. I use all the gaming desktops and the gaming because they're much faster than the others. They just seems, to, they call themselves gaming, but they're better stats. Good scissors make all the difference. Isn't that the truth, Susie? So true. I'm just scrolling through your questions real quick. If you guys have any questions on what you're sewing, otherwise, I'm out of here and I'm going to go embroider my jean pockets, take a shower, go get my driver's license and come back and sew for the entire afternoon until I've treated myself to a pedicure at five o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you got to love living in a small town. It's two minutes down the road. I can see you guys saying <laughs> from, <laughs> you guys are playing music for me. You're awesome. Try to enter the, the, the daylight giveaway and couldn't find it. All right, let me put the link up. I'll put the link in here for you guys. Let me see if I can add it to the comments. I think I have to add it when I hang up here. I'll add it into the title of this, all right? And let's see if there's anything else. Are the Kai rotary cutters better? You know, I use the Kai Rotary Cutter. I have a little pink one that's super cute, and I just change out the blades. So I have some Kai, and then I, ha I had a whole stack of little blades from whatever brand I had. So I had, I bought, the, I buy those in bulk. So I haven't, I mean, they started as Kai, and then they, I changed them around. So I like them. I use them. I can't say there's any preference on that. Uh, because as soon as you run over a pin, which I do all the time, then they're doomed, right? I do have a surprise for you guys next week. So starting next week, uh, I will be featuring some new products that I have been introduced to, that I've tested and I like. And I'll be bringing on a few different people to talk about them. One of them is a new cutting mat that I I really like. I think the boys liked it because they thought it was a game, but I will be bringing that on next week. So stay tuned for that. And I will bring the rotary cutters on with it, by the way. Hey, thanks, Melissa, for the happy birthday. So you guys have a great day. I'm out of here. I hope you have um, a wonderful day. I will pop in tomorrow at three o'clock to draw the winner for the scissors or for the, not for the scissors, for the daylight. Daylight's giving away four lights. Travel and yo-yo, one for four people. So four people are going to be lucky winners tomorrow. I will post a link in here for that again so you have it. I'll put it in the video. And if you want to enter two more times, there are three places to enter, Facebook, Instagram, and the whole link that I usually use. So, all right, bye, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I don't feel any older. I might look it because I didn't take a shower yet today, but the treadmill was good. I survived. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Have a good day.